Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to part three of the five part series. Today we are going to be talking about Xvision and the preset that I use, how to get that installed and the tweak that I use on that preset. So in front of you here, you see the five things we are gonna need for today. Uh, you're gonna need a program called Notepad++. I will leave a link in the description where you can download that. Uh, you're going to need Fly with Lua installed. I'll leave a link to that. I also have a video posted on how to install that already. You're going to need X-Vision, uh, which is available on Sim Market. Uh, it's around $20 uh, US. Uh, we're going to need the Vivid preset for X-Vision. And we're also going to need X-Visibility, uh, which they do have the link in the Vivid preset for. And I will show you that here soon. So these are the five things that we are going to need today uh, to do this. So just get all that installed and we will get going. Um, I already have XVision installed, Fly with Lua, and then we're going to download the Vivid preset. Um, I also have Notepad++ installed already. So um, XVision, once you download it, it's just a simple uh, EXE install and you just point it to where your um, Xplane 11 folder is. So. Uh, no, I don't want to save that, so let's bring this up here. So this is the, um, on the org, this is the Xvision Vivid preset for 11.35+. plus. This is the preset I've went about, um, or I've, I've downloaded about all the presets out there, and this one seems to be the best one in my opinion. Um, the other really nice one is the um, realistic preset version 8, um, but my system does not handle it too well. So um, so what we're going to do is we're going to download this file. Now we're going to scroll down here. They do give you installation instructions. Um, if you already have a preset installed, uh, you're just going to want to follow this step here, uh, restore from backup. This way it clears out any previous uh, presets or modifications. Then we'll go down. So you don't need to download this one here. This is if you just want to use the textures either to blend it with another preset or if you're not using Xvision, um, you could download the textures and install them separately. Uh, this is the link for Fly with Lua uh, that is also required. And uh, the um, creator of this uh, also recommends this X Visibility Haze Control. I do use that, um, so it's definitely good to download this also. And I will show you how to edit this file, um, like he says here. So let's download this. So the first thing that we will start with, we'll start with this X Visibility. Um, modification. This is the easiest thing to do, so we will start with that. So if we go over to our download folder, we have X visibility here. We're going to want to right click that and edit with Notepad++. So now this brings this up here. So you can see um, the author is talking about you want to change the value um, for the high altitude fog uh, mult, I guess that's multiplier to point. 0.35 for a less intense haze. So if we look here, um, that's going to be line 13. We have the high altitude fog and it's on 0.75 right now. We're just going to change this to 0.35 and uh, what we're going to want to do is hit file, save. So now if we close that and uh, We'll just show you if we go back in, right click, edit with notepad, it's now set to 0.35. So this file is complete. We don't have to mess with this anymore. That's out of the way now. So uh, we're done here. Uh, you could scroll through here, see some pictures. I mean, like I said, this is a great looking preset for Xvision. So we'll exit out of this. Now we're going to have our download folder here. Let's bring up the X. Uh, this is um, where I have Xvision installed. Uh, it's in my Xplane 11 files. This is where I keep a lot of my downloads and 
stuff like that for future reference. So I do have my Xvision in here. So the only thing that goes into your Xvision folder, which will open this, you can see here there's a, these .xvs uh, files. Uh, these are what Xvision reads as the presets. So on this side in downloads, you can see our vivid.xvs. We're just going to take that and put that in our Xvision folder. So we're going to mess with that in a minute. Um, let's get this X visibility out of the way. So we're going to go to our main Xplane 11 install, uh, down to resources, plugins, fly with Lua. This is why you need fly with Lua. And we're going to go to our scripts folder. So the X visibility Lua goes in our fly with Lua scripts folder. And that's where it's going to stay. We already edited that file. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So let's go back to our Xvision and let's open this. So here's Xvision. Let's just make this full screen. Um, there's a lot that's going to be going on in here. Um, you could read the manual if you want to know how to uh, change a lot of this stuff or what a lot of this stuff means. Um, today we're just going to go over how to get a preset installed and the preset that I use, which you saw was the Vivid, and uh, the one modification that I do to this preset. So um, the second one down here, this is your open. So we're going to hit this. We don't want to save changes because we didn't do anything. And we're going to click on the vivid uh, preset that we downloaded and we're going to hit open. So now this opens all the um, vivid preset uh, shaders and um, all the clouds and textures and everything that the author has included uh, now gets loaded when you load this. So this main screen is your info. If we go over to shaders, this is all the stuff that the author had um, created with this preset. So you could see the check boxes are the things that he had edited. So the fog and scattering, um, the night textures, moon glare, blah, 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 blah. These are all things that he had uh, changed for his preset here. Um, the last tab at the top, the resources and scripts, you could see here, these are all the things that are included. Uh, with this preset. So now one of the things, like let's say you have your cloud textures that you like already. You can unclick these boxes to not include the X, uh, the vivid preset um, clouds that he's going to include here, the PNG files. So if you want to use everything else in here minus the clouds, you can just unclick these boxes so it doesn't replace those textures. The other thing you want to do under this uh, resources and scripts tab is you want to uncheck activate scripts in exclusive mode. When you slide this slider off, um, if this was on, basically what happens? Anything in your Fly with Lua scripts folders gets disabled um, minus the stuff that comes with the preset. So if you had a Fly with Lua script for, I don't know, anything, it will disable that if you have this checked and it's just going to leave the Xvision presets uh, Lua because you could see here uh, we have the Vivid main Lua down here you have the wind uh, the Vivid tweaks Lua the water Lua so it's only going to allow these to be installed if you had anything else like let's say you had a Lua script for um, what Lua scripts are out there um, if you people are having those cloud texture issues where the clouds you know shoot all the way up into the atmosphere, there's a Lua tweak out there that doesn't allow it to do that. Um, if you left this slider at the top checked, it's going to disable that script. So um, it's a good idea to check this off, but it's also if you're going to have a, an issue or a conflict, this is basically doesn't allow you to have any conflicts in your sim. So you might want to leave this on and then go into your sim and re-enable those scripts. Um, in the Fly with Lua scripts folder, uh, you could just take the little squiggly line off the end and that'll re-enable them. Um, that's completely up to you which way you want to do that. Uh, I like to leave it unchecked because I always know what I'm downloading and um, I haven't really had any issues leaving this unchecked, so just leave that at that. So now let's go back 
to the shaders tab and if we come down here to custom tweaking all the way at the bottom down here where it says custom patches this is where I add the only thing that I want to add to this vivid preset uh, what we're gonna do this lights day night smooth transition we're just gonna delete that because we don't need that anymore um, so we're gonna add a new one and we're gonna call the new patch lights glow the shader file that we're going to be messing with is the light underscore vert dot glsl that's we'll leave that where it is now in these two boxes here this is where you have to follow this exactly or else you will get an error and it will not work so i'm going to put this in here i'm going to tell you exactly what to type and then i'm going to pause so that you could pause the video if you wanted to and copy these exactly so this first box here, we're going to type P-O-W, left parenthesis, oops, I'm sorry, left parenthesis, dash, E-Y-E, -E, underscore, P-O-S, dot Z, comma, space, U, underscore, light l i g h t underscore e x p dot y and we're just call this a right parentheses so this is um what's going to be in this box here uh we're not going to get involved with any of what what the, what this means but just trust me that this is what you want to put in here so this is the line that in this lights vert dot uh, GLSL um, this is the line it's going to be looking for and the new block here this is what's going to be replacing it so down here we're going to type POW we're going to call this a left parentheses minus or dash EYE -E underscore POS dot Z comma space zero point five five and we're gonna do a right parentheses so make sure these are exactly like this don't forget the spaces this is a zero here not an O zero like the number zero um, and then what you do is you click this box to activate it here and then we're gonna click this box under custom tweaking to activate it there so now this is set what it's gonna what you're gonna want to do if you want to keep this you hit save solution and that'll save it so it'll keep these custom tweaks in here and then what you're gonna do is apply adjustments and e install the resources so now down here this is where it goes through um, installing the preset into xplane and uh, X-Plane has to be closed to do this. I mean, it obviously says do not restart or do not start X-Plane until it's finished, but I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but your X-Plane does have to be closed to do this. So I'll just give it a second here because it's got to go through. Um, basically what it does is it checks uh, the processes and makes sure that um, they're all okay before it installs it and then it applies all the changes that you made. Okay, so you can see down here now the solution was processed successfully. Sorry, <laughs> please restart your explain for the applied changes to take effect. Um, that's basically it for this. I mean, I, you can go in here, you can change the sky saturation, you can click this box on or off. If you want to mess around, figure out what some of this stuff does, there's uh, plenty of uh, resources out there with people that have messed around. Um, you might download a preset that you like, that you like one thing out of, that you may not like in another one, and you can, you know, copy those settings and combine two presets together. Um, but this is what I use, this is what I like, um, and uh, this is what I'm going to stick with for now um, until I find, you know, something that I might want to add to this or change. Um, but for now, this is... Uh, like I said, what I use and just custom patch here, this lights glow. Um, this is gonna help 
the uh, night lighting um, in part four, we're going to get into my night lighting. So this is um, this gives a little bit of a glow to your night lighting um, in the distance. It looks really nice. Um, it might take some getting used to if you're not used to it, but the more you use it, the more you fly at night, the more you're going to like it. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Like I said, I'll put links uh, to everything we used today in the bottom uh, in the description of the video. And don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified um, when I upload more videos. All right, guys, take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.